Hello, this is Daniel Please, and my name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be optimizing Silder's Vibrant Light. That's right, just like my previous video, we're going to be taking a look at a shader that is already pretty low end, it's pretty well optimized, and we're going to be optimizing it even further to give you great FPS on low end systems. So to me, it's pretty crazy to think that last week I made a video about how to optimize Beyond Believe Vanilla Reborn, which is a video similar to this one, but this one has been requested in the comment section of that video. So that's why I'm doing this video. So it's pretty crazy to think that in that video I mentioned and actually thank you guys for making me reach 15,000 subscribers. And by the time I upload this video, I'll have about 16,000. So I guess you can apparently get a thousand subscribers a week now. Anyway, if you're into Minecraft videos like these, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell notification right next to it. So if you actually joined in the past week, then I want to thank you for joining. Welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy your stay here. Now, one more thing before we actually get into the video, we have our own Minecraft server. It's play.danielplays.net. I regularly play on there and there's usually people on there. So it's really cool. I love the community we've built there. So um, if you feel like joining, then be sure to do so using the IP address down in the description or on the screen right now. So like I said, in this video, we're gonna be optimizing Silder's Vibrant Light. There's also Silder's Enhanced Default, which also works really well on low-end PCs. I'm well aware of that, but this is the one that has been requested most. If you guys actually want me to show you how to optimize Silder's Enhanced Default, then be sure to let me know down below in the comments. So if you're actually not sure how to install shaders and Optifine, then be sure to check out the video that will pop up on the screen right now, or it will also be down in the description. In that video, I will explain step-by-step step how to install Optifine and shaders. And then once you've got that done, you can come back to this video and start optimizing Silder's Vibrant Light. So now to get into the shader settings, just hit escape, go to options, go to video settings, go to shaders, and then select Silder's Vibrant Light. So I'm using this version, but of course in the future, there's gonna be more updates for Silder's Vibrant, obviously. So this number will change, but this is as of recording this video, the latest release for Silder's Vibrant Light. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to shaders options right there. And this is where we have all of the options that we can change. So one of the wonderful things about Silder's Vibrant Light, and one of the reasons this video isn't going to be very long, is because Silder's Vibrant Light is already defaulted to some of the lowest settings possible for the shader pack. Things like anti-aliasing should be turned off by default. Um, normal mapping, which is like giving crazy detailed textures, it should be disabled. There's a couple of things that we can change and that's what we're gonna be taking a look at in this video. So we're actually going to be reducing the settings even further to get even more FPS in Minecraft. So to get started, go over to sky and lighting right here. As you can see, most of the settings have been set to either off or default. Some of the settings have not. So raindrops, for example, it will say that this has a low performance impact. So you may think this is not gonna do anything, but a low performance impact is still a performance impact. So be sure to turn that off. Now, God Rays actually says that it's a low performance impact, but on some low end systems, it can have a pretty significant performance impact. So be sure to turn those off as well. Some of the settings here have been disabled by default, like I said, but one that you should actually change is the setting called default skybox which if enabled will actually force the shader to use the default vanilla Minecraft skybox. Now, another setting you should change is clouds. They're set to volumetric, which looks great, but you actually want to turn those off because they will cost FPS. They actually will. The same goes for sky blur. You want to disable that and shader stars. You also want to disable that. So there's one more category of settings that we're gonna be checking out and that's shadows. Another one that actually has some settings that could affect FPS is waving objects. But for this video, I actually want to make sure that stuff is waving because that will make the shader look way better. If you really need the FPS, just turn all of these off and they will give you some extra FPS on Silder's Vibrant Light. But if you can run it with the waving stuff, then be sure to just leave it like this because I have to admit that the shader just looks 10 times better with the waving voyage. So like I said, shadows is the last thing we're going to be checking out. And actually, it's pretty simple what we're going to be doing here. So if you really, really want shadows, be sure that this is set to very low. The shadow distance is set to the minimum, which is 60 here. The near shadow plane quality, it's all set to the minimum quality, just like that. And turn off the grass shadows and the colored shadows. 
and click done. So the shadows are going to be very simplistic now and very low quality. But if you actually really, really want shadows, you should use these settings. I actually want the most FPS you can possibly get. So I'm going to completely disable shadows. The game will no longer have shadows. But the FPS you gain from this is pretty insane because shadows have a massive performance impact in Minecraft. So I will admit that the shaders look better before, but now they actually work a lot better, which is probably why you clicked this video. It is to make the shaders work better. So I hope this actually helps you out in making Minecraft with Zilder's Vibrant Light more playable. If you actually need more optimization, then be sure to check out the video that will pop up right now, right there, or will also be down in the description, where I explain to you what the best Minecraft video settings are to get even more FPS. And don't worry, you can combine both that video and this video to get even more FPS than I show you in either one of those. So if you enjoyed this video and if this video actually helped you out, then be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, which of course you do, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!